Comedians fight more than any group of people that I've ever been around. Like, it's it's some like drama. Physical fight or like physical, <laughs> physical fights in the comedy club, oh, behind the comedy club, in the green room. By kind of setting it off, bro. I didn't know it was that much drama in the comedian world. Is hey. it really that much drama in the comedian bro. world? Man, it's that's old drama. It's so much more shit that you ain't gonna probably ever get to hear about because you don't with these comedians because they ain't made it yet. You would actually have to be in the city where they live to know the type of shit that goes on. That was just the first time that a comedian went on a big ass platform, a big name comedian, and said the shit. This is all comedian world, green room talk, rumors, whatever the f may be. He just ain't got to say in a long time. He been busy, he, but he know everything that's going on. And niggas be riding around the country and he hear all the yeah. So when he went on there and said all the it was it was new to y'all. Right. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. How much of that interview you think was cap versus fact? If you I put can't, percentage. I, I can't confirm or deny any of that because I'm <laughs> the type of yeah. stick to the code, bro. Right, 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 right. Go ask them. Yeah, they, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, it's I don't think it's gonna be no backlash or no like that. It's just shit people say. I don't yeah. I don't know. Comedians keep a lot of beef going on. Comedians right. fight more than any group of people that I've ever been around. Like, it's it's some like drama. Like physical fight or <laughs> like physical fights in the comedy club, oh, shit, behind the comedy man. club, in the green room. So is everybody sticking to the code? Cause we don't even hear about it. No, nah, it ain't that everybody's sticking to. It's the ain't heard about it though. It's just it's kind of like comedians to beef with each other and still want the next <laughs> make it though. You're like nigga, just cause I don't like you don't mean they can't. You know what I oh, mean? So they not haters. So it's kind of yeah, like sure. a no. They definitely haters. They are some of the biggest haters. You could always tell the haters in the comedian world. Think how many we ain't never seen together. Right. I'm talking about they don't each other, they never did a show together. They need separate green rooms, but it ain't like they hate each other, they just don't hate each other. Comedy is a lonely game, because every comedian in the game feel like they gonna be the next So a lot of motherfuckers don't with each other because of that, or over a joke, or a woman, or. So how do y'all, how did y'all keep, because you know, when you think of you, DC and Chief, y'all are all big in y'all own right, so how do y'all keep it to? Where y'all never, well, I'm sure y'all get into it, but how do y'all keep it to where the ego don't split y'all apart or tear y'all apart? <clears throat> Bro, it ain't, no, it ain't nothing even like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all like different shit. Like, we fans of each other. Like, I want to be the biggest motherfucker in the world. And that's the energy that we bring. That's why it ain't never no ego. We all know who we are individually, but like, we put all that into. The collective, so that makes it bigger. They love you, they love me, they love him. Together they can love us. You get what I'm saying? So that's the whole motivation. That's why it ain't no ego or like no stunning, nobody trying to look bro, nobody, no shit like that. Cause we, we get it. Dude. Man, at the, uh, at the Vegas Tyson fight, not Tyson, but Tank fight, DC, they had a Lovers and Friends uh, concert yeah. or, or laughing comedy. It was like music and comedy. And DC went up there and just was an artist. And it was like, oh, this really can sing. This really can rap. Like, he's a real artist. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And do anything, bro. But it's not when skin. When, like, a couple <laughs> years ago, now, nah, you know how motherfuckers like, hey, we skin. No, this had goggles, peekaboo, street type coming down the big mountain. I was like, this nigga is a ghetto superstar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, can swim, uh, ice skate. Do yeah. backflip on the pissy mattress. Yeah, just like, he's just one of them kids that was yeah. always outside. He can do all kind of. That's, that's, like, how, that's how Mo3 is. He could do everything. Anything yeah. he wanted to put his mind to, he did it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he literally good at a whole lot. Bro, Chico the same way. Like, this nigga, he just, he ain't as public with the sh You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. when he ain't on stage or at work, you'll never know what this is, bro. Do shows and. He like to ride around, that's how he come up with it. So he'll get, like when he get a rental car, this gonna rent, him nigga might rent a Maybach or something. Or, you know what I mean, the big that be out on, I'm like, bro, you really be renting this? We 
leaving tomorrow. Why the fuck do you need the most expensive shit they got? But that's just his shit. Like, he like opulence and luxury and shit. So he like to be in a nice car, jump off, ride off by himself, security be mad as fuck at him. Cause like, Chico, you can't just ride around Detroit by yourself. You're not from here. But he just the type of where it's like, that's his process. The one night he called me, he was riding in LA and rode all the way to the Mexican border, bro. He like, I ain't even got my passport. I'm like, they might not let you back in this. And me, man, and, and then me, I'm so chill and like, I just be out the way, bro. Like, if I ain't in my cars or, you know what I'm saying, some shit like that, you ain't gonna never know where I'm at. So, we all got our own lives outside of this. And that's how we able to, like, still enjoy every show, like the first one. Let me ask you this. What's the longest that all three of y'all sat down and waited for somebody to come for an interview? <laughs> What's the longest? Yeah. yeah. Don't wait. We'll just start recording. Oh. You did what I'm saying? I wish like, we could do that. Yeah. We'll yeah. What's, the, what's the longest y'all had to wait? What's the longest y'all had to wait? What? <laughs> when we first got started, we like, hey, yeah. Yeah, I'm on my way, bro. I'll be there in five minutes. Five hours later. <laughs> Like, bro, nah, come on, on, bro. Word. Yeah. yeah. It ain't like that no more, though. It ain't like that no more. <laughs> Damn. Who yeah. did y'all like that, bro? It's hundred niggas. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Say their names. <laughs> Fuck it. Don't protect them. What you want them to come yeah, back so you can wait another five hours? Who? He, you know, we had the interview. Oh. You in Dallas, though. You can get that shit anytime. Yeah, but, that's, be, <laughs> but that's what make it bad. It'd be like, nigga, you right up the street, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, I just saw you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, man, I, mean, I can understand. It happens though. I don't think it be on purpose a lot of times. A right. lot sometimes niggas, niggas get overwhelmed, bro. You tell everybody you're gonna do everything. It's only a certain amount of hours you got to do it. Yeah. Then you need a smoke break. You need to eat. Baby, mom <laughs> might call. You might have to stop by the crib, drop some money off. You know how that. Shit. Like you done got busy. Yeah. It's probably some motherfuckers who be like, man, they been saying they gonna get me on that motherfucker. <laughs> nah, you ain't lying. <laughs> you ain't lying. Have you ever had a death threat behind this? Shit? Mm. to kill us behind the Word? Yeah. Stop reading them comments, man. No, in real life. <laughs> oh, like a <laughs> show? Hey, we got mad at you. They said on the show. What? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. We didn't have plenty. No, of you shit. know what happens is, and this is again, this is one of those situations where we put the interview out and right. it went viral. Absolutely. Right, and it was it was the OG. No, I'm Dallas OG. It was viral. Certain. Now you got to stand behind your words. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes they don't want to do that. You know, they want to kind of shift the blame. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we ain't never got no threats or violence. Because we don't even f people like that. Yeah. We be interviewing gangsters and sh We don't. We ain't us. We try to stay away from, like, specific like that. Like, street politics and yeah. all that sh Nah, we don't fuck around like that, yeah. bro. Now We're comedians. We're here to bring joy and happiness. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.